Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install your Mint Mobile SIM card or eSIM. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, first I recommend checking out the link below. My partner Mint Mobile gave it to me and it gives you a great discount off of your cell plan. Now, the first thing is if you have a physical SIM card or an eSIM, I'll walk you through the steps for both. If you have a physical SIM card, it will look sort of like this. It'll be a little card and on there will be a tiny little chip. Essentially what you're gonna do is punch out that chip and you need to find the slot on your phone to install that eSIM or the physical SIM card. On the iPhone, on older ones, there's a little hole that you need, kind of like a paper clip. You can stick it in there, it'll pop out a little tray you put that SIM card in there and then you basically close it back up. So that's essentially all you have to do. If you have an eSIM, essentially you don't have to do anything with that physical card. Most new phones accept eSIM. If you have an eSIM, all you have to do to install it is download and install the Mint Mobile app. So go to the App Store or Google Play Store and download and install the app. Now on here, you can see at the very top left is activate eSIM. Essentially, all you have to do is enter in this ACT code and it will find that number for that eSIM and get everything set up. Essentially, you'll get an email or some other text message, something like that, that'll have a link that will get you over to the app and enter in that ACT code. Now, after we've done that, it will go through the process of setting everything up and you can check on it just by opening up your settings, tapping on cellular here, and you can see here is my eSIM for this Mint Mobile account. You can see my phone number, this line is on, Wi-Fi calling, voice and data, and data mode. All of these are turned on and basically my eSIM or physical SIM card are all installed and set up and basically the network is working. I should be able to make and receive calls, use the data, text message, all that stuff. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll catch you on the next one.